Hello YouTubers, uh, today we're going to look at uh, present value, uh, present value of a dollar and the present value of an annuity, both ordinary and annuities do. The concept of present value is related to how we have to discount a future value to put it in present value terms. So for example, we have our first example up here, the present value of a dollar. If we need $30,000 uh, sometime in the future. Uh, this specific example, we need that 60 months from now. Um, and we could uh, deposit a lump sum into an account that bears 3.5% interest um, and zero payment. So once we put that sum in there, uh, we will not contribute any, any more to it. So how do we calculate this? Well, in other words, how do we discount back thirty thousand dollars over five sixty years I'm sorry sixty months five years based on three and a half percent a year what's that so go go into um, formulas insert financial present value uh, formula builder again PC users the formula builder should automatically appear what's our rate three and a half percent but that's an annual rate and and we're trying to calculate months so it's compounded every month um, so since it's an annual rate we're going to divide that by 12 to put our rate in months our in per is 60 our payment is going to be zero future value is 30 and then calculate um, calculate the present value hit enter alright so what does this mean in order to get in order to have a balance of thirty thousand dollars in sixty months from now in an account that bears three and a half percent we need to deposit just over twenty five thousand dollars today to get that money um, so and of course since we plugged in into our formula builder we can always change the future value if if our future value goes up to forty thousand um, it'll recalculate we need to enter thirty three five thousand uh, dollars etc now let's move on to the present value of an annuity present value of an annuity so let's look at the let's look at the ordinary annuity right now um, this is assuming that we get paid one thousand um, dollars and the interest rate here is three and a half percent future value is going to be zero because it's an annuity there is no future value and it's going to be tw over 12 months. So if we get paid a thousand dollars every month for 12 months, what is that? Um, what is this amount worth in today's money? I.e., what is its present value? Well, let's let's calculate it. Uh, insert financial PV just like the present value of a dollar. However, we're going to do something a little bit different. So. Our rate is 3.5%, but again, it's over in months, so divide that by 12. Our in per is 12. Uh, payment is going to be $1,000. Future value, work it down to zero. And what is that? Hit enter. Now, what is that? So, $1,000 every month and 12 months, obviously the total of this would be $12,000, correct? Yes. However, what is $12,000 paid out on $1,000 every month worth in today's money? It's, it's $11,775. Now, a really quick caveat here with the due. Um, ordinary annuity, the payment happens at the end of every period. So in this example, let's, let's keep it simple and do January through December, 12 months. Um, the first payment would happen on January 31st at the end of the first period and then the second would be February 28th the end of the second period etc now if we go to do this payment happens at the beginning of every period so January 1st February 1st March 1st and so on so how do we how do we figure out the difference um, between the present value of a payment that happens at the end of every month versus the present value that happens at the beginning every at every month uh, we know just by definition that there is a time change between those two 
uh, scenarios. However, how do we uh, control for that in Excel um, as, as simple as possible? So let's go ahead and do that now. Um, notice that my givens are the same. Okay, insert financial PV. Open the formula builder here. Okay, let's do, <coughs> quickly run through it. Three and a half, but remember put it in months. Uh, my number of periods is right here, cell D11. My payment is a thousand. Future value is zero. Now th here's where we control for it. The type. If it's an if it is an annu ordinary annuity, we can leave this blank or enter a zero in there, which means the payment happens at the end of every month. However, if it's a, if it's an an annuity due we'd hit a one. This will control for the payment happening at the beginning of every period. Go ahead and hit enter. Get that out of the way. So, uh, what does this mean in English? Uh, the present value of an annuity due is worth more than, is, is worth more in um, present value terms because we get the money sooner. When we get the money sooner, we can do more things with it. Uh, than uh, the payments happening at the end of every month. Uh, thanks again for watching the video. Um, I hope it was good. Thanks so much.